Well, good afternoon, YouTubers. So we are on day, oh my God, um, I think this is day four um, that we started working, well, since uh, the 26th of December. And so where we're at now. So my lovely wife, Julie, as you can see, everything is white on the paneling that was there originally. So this is first coat of primer. So that's where we're at with that. So the wood here was pretty good. No real damage to this, so we're leaving it and we're just painting on top. And then uh, over here, we did the same thing. You can see right there behind me, there's uh, more cupboards and that's painted. That's where the fridge is gonna go. And so last, uh, last I left you, I was uh, in the process of sealing. Um, so I'm gonna change this view to the back so that you can see so if you remember in the last video, it was all rotten wood back there. So that's been removed um, and a new piece of wood has been put in its place. And uh, I'm actually going to do something with this to reinforce it because you can see it's pretty wobbly. If I show you on the video, I don't know if you can see here, but it's, it's wobbly. And I don't know why they construct it like this, but you'll see there's a two by four going along here. And then it stops just to frame around the window and it continues on to frame around that window and they don't connect anything. Um, yet at the bottom here, you've got this one long two by four that goes and actually it stops here and then it connects itself with some staples to the two by four underneath. So it's not one long continuous piece. So for me, I don't know, from a construction perspective, uh, Strength-wise, it's lacking for sure. So I'm actually going to cut out the foam here. I'm going to join these two together so it's more um, sturdy and have less wobble. And I'm also going to, at the back on the other side, get some metal screws, um, probably one-inch screws with those rubber washers um, and screw from the other side to make sure that the metal stays adhered to the wood framing on the inside just again just to make things a little bit more solid so kind of renovating the construction process as well um, but that's it so the ceiling uh the hole that we had originally on the ceiling i removed the old antenna that was here and that's all been sealed this is back in its place with the mesh and then on the other side i double sealed it from the inside and the outside just extra precaution and also if you can see i started um already seen some footage of this but the rod is a little bit more extensive here again the repairs on the outside have been completed all around but um yeah so this is this is all still kind of moist back here so some extensive um rot in that back corner which i'm going to tackle i think from the outside um so this is it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, a little more than I expected, but whatever. Um, it is what it is. Um, it's part of buying an older vehicle. You have these things happen. And uh, so today's objective is finish ripping out all this wood. Because uh, yesterday's objective was to seal the entire ceiling. Or the roof, rather. Uh, to ensure that there's no more water damage from the inside. I'm going to go show you guys what that looks like right now.